welcome back to our channel. So we are currently in the car and we are <laughs> off to Celtic Manor. We are. For some Christmas festivities. <laughs> well, it's a very festive place. Yes, it's I not actually say. that we're doing anything specifically. <laughs> we're not. Christmas festively, we're actually just going out for lunch. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's, it's, We're not. it's really pretty and Christmassy there. We're having a meeting. We we're are being having productive. A meeting. Yeah. We're meeting true. our Gymshark like contact person our. and we're having our. Yeah, yeah. You know, I group us as a you oh, know yeah. group influencer here. I'm always wearing my Gymshark active wear, you know, doing my sponsorship <laughs> deals, like you know Instagram posts. Swipe up to swipe up to shop. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you can have a swipe up, but you've never even used that feature, have you? Hashtag, hashtag affiliate. I do sometimes, I say swipe up to our videos. James literally never posts on social media. He's just like hey. a tag along vlogger. I'm great at posting on social media. <laughs> post actually, you posted yesterday. Oh, yeah. I just got his merch on. I know. Go on, guys. Go. Actually, this video is going up just after we, we drop our merch. Is it? It is, yeah, it's going on up. On the day? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we would have dropped our merch this morning. six hours ago, so we have no idea how well it's done. But I think it's always good to say, you know, thank you so much to anyone yes. who supported us. Yes. And yeah, we really Your comments that. were really lovely on the vlog that we showed it, um, showed the pieces on. We only did four pieces this year, which yeah. didn't feel like a lot, but there's been so much love for all the pieces, so I've yeah. been really excited to release those this year. But yeah, we're meeting our Gymshark contact called Becky um, in Celtic Manor, which I'm very excited about because it's my favourite festive place to go and I always try and go at least once a year because my family used to go every Christmas time um, all my cousins and everyone we used to all meet there we had like my grandma would treat us to like a night nice stay and we'd have a big meal and everything so I think of it as like a really festive Christmassy place um, and they always go all out for Christmas yes, they've got like they a do. massive tree and a train track and everything so I always hype it up so much so I'm hoping it's gonna live up to my expectations this year I remember once really early on when we were going out you went to Celtic Manor. Yeah, yeah. I think it must have been the first year, and uh, I was invited for, for breakfast, breakfast the next day. You stayed a night, you had oh a lovely night, gosh. and then I was like, I'm coming for breakfast, guys. You know what? That might have even been like 2014. Like the year, no, that I was the year was we got 2014. together. 2014, I think it was the year we got together. Six years ago. That was That's how ago. it was, wasn't it? Oh, goodness me. And that was the last time you went as well as a family. I think so, yeah. And so I we missed stopped it. going. You, yeah. Because you would have come all the other years otherwise, oh, so yeah, yeah, that must have been why. But anyway, <laughs> we're heading there now, and I'm very excited to see the big Christmas tree. Yay, look at the festivities. Look, so the Welsh pretty. dragon. I know, it's quite cool, the Welsh dragon. The Welsh it? music, um, the Welsh music, the Christmas music. Look at the train track. Oh, I think oh. already. And there's a home with some sun. Yeah, look, there's a SpongeBob. There's a SpongeBob. And they have this. Where's the second SpongeBob? You found that really quick. I know, I saw two in a row, and they always have these lights go all the way up to the ceiling, and I'm so out of breath. And I always do like spot the Christmas trees, because they have loads. Oh my One, goodness, that's absolutely Two tense. presents, presents, little light up trees. I blooming love it here. It oh, look at that little Santa. <laughs> Just watch the train track going round and round. It's funny how when something is like a special place in your heart, it doesn't really matter what it looks like in some ways. It's yeah. special to you and your family. It's like even just walking in and smelling the smells was mm. special. But it's, it's empty here, which is actually really, really nice. Quiet. It is nice because we definitely will get a table at the bar for some food. Which so is good. good. <laughs> Should we go and have a look outside? Yes. Let's look for more festivities. So, ooh, ooh, that's a bit zoomed in. Ooh, ooh gosh. This camera is very oh, quick at zooming in, so I'm like always it zoomed is. in to my face. It is. Uh, yeah, we've been outside, we've just taken some Instagram photos because we're, we're both. We're both famous James Instagrammers. So if, an Instagrammer. if you don't know, guys, we're actually both uh, big Instagrammers. You should definitely follow our Instagrams, which uh, which is down in the description. James just decided to post for yeah. the first time in mm, maybe like well for the merch release before I was pregnant. Um, I posted yesterday. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh right, for the yeah. first time. That was literally. I think the, the thing I posted before that was the pregnancy announcement. <laughs> you, we took photos on the pregnancy announcement day four <laughs> months ago. Over yeah. four months ago. Yeah. Over five months ago, sorry, six no, months? No, it wasn't that long Whatever. ago. So um, we, we announced in September, and it's only December. Oh, yeah. You're thinking I, about I was when thinking of when I got pregnant. <laughs> and he took the, he was like, oh, I'm going to take these 20 yeah. photos and I'll post them. Literally posted them 24 weeks pregnant, 12 weeks late. Well, you know, like I posted them. 
Okay? I like that you're not on Instagram. I just forget, and it's the hassle of, you know, pressing the upload button and then writing a caption. <laughs> and then, but whenever I do it, I feel really positive and I really enjoy uploading, but it's just actually getting around to upload. And I'm sure loads of you guys feel like that Totally, as well, yeah. You know? Those Instagram vibes. <laughs> we've been out here, we've been, you know, trying to get, the, look at all these mini Christmas trees. Unfortunately, so they have lights on them, which aren't kind of on at the moment, so you really can't really see them. them. And the same with the white trees. Are they grown? No, I'm around? pretty sure they're on stands. They're not. Are they not? Oh, no, they're not, are they? So, like, are they dug in, maybe? Oh, they're probably grown. Maybe they planted them when they were tiny. Or maybe they're only That'd just so kind of... Cute. How long does it take for a Christmas tree to kind of grow to, you know, say this grow. size? Because, you know, that's a little smaller than maybe the average household would have. Yeah. So I wonder how long that takes. Maybe they did grow them. <laughs> anyway, we're heading in. We are. They've still got a couple of, like, Christmassy bits out here, which are quite cute. With these hedges in. This is what our house is going to be like next year, is guys. It? Yeah. Not, oh, so our current house this, next year. I thought yeah. you meant like next year we'd just buy Cuts Manor and live no, no, here. No, no, no. Not quite. No, not quite um, there yet. The decks. The decks. Yeah. All out. You're going to do the, the, these big ribbons oh, yeah. on pots. Because we do have some, you know, they're not as big as these plants. <laughs> no, like We that. do have things like this outside our front door. <laughs> about a tenth of the size. <laughs> we had a very successful meeting with yeah, Becky from Jim Shark. It was really nice. I ordered way too much food. What did you order? I went pregnant lady mode and I ordered well I wanted the chicken Caesar salad because I've had the chicken Caesar salad there before and it was lovely but then I was like is this chicken Caesar salad going to be enough for me because you know I eat a lot and pre you're pregnant pre-pregnant I eat a lot and exactly yeah. boo pregnant yeah. it's just a whole nother level so I ordered a chicken Caesar salad plus a cheese and chutney sandwich you did you did, and you ate finish. about half of a half of a cheese and chutney sandwich. And that was sad, and it's always it was awkward sad. when then they have to ask you if everything was okay, and if you didn't like the sandwich, and it was like, no, it was absolutely I lovely, I just cuts. had my eyes too big for my belly. Even though my belly looks huge <laughs> right now. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> so yeah, we're heading to the garden centre now. Yeah. We thought I we would... you're just the garden centre, you guys know. The garden centre. You guys know. The Worldwide Garden Centre. Yeah. Um, what's this one actually called? Cardiff Garden Centre. Cardiff Garden Centre. <laughs> this is not that far. So dun, dun, dun. our neighbours got their tree from this garden centre. We oh yeah. That, and um, said that it was extremely Christmassy. And that there was lots of pretty lights and they were really tempted with lots of stuff. So I thought, let's go and check it out. Because we do actually need some lights for the outside of our house. I still have yet to put up any extra lights than the small few we put up in the porch. So I thought it would be a good time to go and check it out. I gave James this job. I said, James, you can do outside lights job for this year. Never give me He lights. said, I will do outside lights job, Karis, for this year. I said, leave it up to me. And leave it up leave to me. me. They will done. be put up December 24th. Exactly. Christmas Eve is when you put up guys, lights, isn't it, guys? They're still not up. Still and not it's up. very embarrassing because the whole of the neighbourhood has put the fairy lights, yeah. the fairy lights, the Christmas lights up. And we do, like James said, have one, our little reindeer and sleigh lit up yeah. and our little We've got one uh, garland. We yeah. do. But, you know, James was giving me all these brilliant ideas of he was going to be stringing the lights yep. all around yeah, the yeah. house, yep. garage, window sills, everything was going to be lit up. And. Didn't do it, did I? You disappointed me. I haven't done it. The thing is, we do have massive windows on our house, so maybe we should be making the most of those and putting inside lights in the windows. That would work well, I think. Do you, what, are you handing the job back to me? No, no, I'm suggesting an idea, <laughs> which I'm hoping you're back, and then I will get on and do. <laughs> will you, though? Probably not, no. Well, we'll see what's in the garden centre. We may get it done today. So we're now at the garden centre, and I think the issue is that we've come during the day, and so even if they did have lights, we wouldn't see them. What's a conundrum? Yes, and I think the issue is with being vloggers, is that if we come in the night, the lights would look really pretty, <laughs> but we wouldn't. We wouldn't. wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> the light would be yeah. so tall, we'd be like, oh my goodness, this lighting is terrific. But then you can see the lights, so you know. I don't think we're going to be able to see, show you the Christmas Sea lights in the garden centre. Winter's literally the worst time to be a vlogger. Because Guys, it, we have such a hard life during winter. Literally, my job is... Um, it's like the most difficult job in the world during the winter because <laughs> the lighting is just all over the place. And we only get like between 9am and 3pm for good lighting. It's like we have to wake up for 9am. Oh, goodness, okay. I know. And we can't vlog. Like 9 we can't vlog on to, you know, 4pm like we usually do. We have to stop at 3 <laughs> what an awful day. Yeah, it goes dark, literally like pitch black yeah. at like half two. Oh, hot up, anyone? Yeah, me. Me. You? You want me? Yeah. We've got a couple of Oh, gosh. Here. Look at this. This is so what cool. Is I think this tops the Celtic Manor. Oh, goodness me, I know. <laughs> Look at that. It's not even for sale, it's just for looking at. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they sell all these things individually somewhere. Oh, my gosh, this is literally me. 
the energy to our house, <laughs> Oh my goodness me, look at this glitz and glam. <laughs> you would so oh, freak wow. out if I brought one of them home. Oh goodness me. Oh my god, it's moving. That yep. <laughs> That is actually quite spooky. I'd much rather get like a little snowman like this guy. Look at him. <laughs> James has got his lights. He's packed up. I don't up. know whether to go colours or white above the garage. I know, he's gone. I kind of I... want to go white again. Oh, you I'm changed change your mind. It. Yeah, I was going to go colours. But... Don't go white, you have to go warm, oh you mean warm white to yeah. match the rest. Yeah, yeah. Mm. but with the drop down lights. So James went a bit crazy and he went for these. I think they're cool, aren't they? Because he was just trying to be fun dad. Um, and we've gone for these like net curtain ones that we're going to put in all the windows. Yep. I'll show you properly when we get home so we can just put them up when we get home. Mm -hmm. We're going to do in all the windows in the house so they'll shine through. Yep. And then we wanted some for above the garage so James went went off brand. I know but I think I'm going to go back to icicles. Oh okay. Yeah. Let's Ooh, do icicles. snowfall icicles. Yeah, quite They'll be a bit icy and blue. I'm not a fan of blue Christmas lights. But we can do warm white. Oh can you? Icicles. Oh fantastic. Yeah. Sorted. Perfect. So we're home now. James is just chatting to the painters and I thought I would show you my outfit of the day. I have been loving my outfit today, guys. I feel like because I've been wearing such similar things like leggings, oversized jumpers lately and just all that kind of vibe with my bump. And I ordered a mini skirt the other day. I was like, you know what? I just feel like dressing up in a mini skirt and it actually works with my bump. Look at that. It's like a little sheared waistband at the top and it had enough length on it to be appropriate with a bump and I just loved my little outfit. I felt so wintry but so cute today and I'm absolutely loving. If you follow me on Instagram you'll see I've been blooming talking about this little jumper thing for ages. Look at me Boo, I'm doing an outfit of the day. You felt definitely waiting for me so you thought you'd go. Yeah, I was like Boo, I'm gonna just vlog when you're ready and then he took about 15 hours to make a cup of tea. 10 hours to chat to the painters and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do an outfit of the day. Well, we're making sure the colours are right, okay? <laughs> yeah, the colour looks amazing. You're gonna have to wait till the next kitchen update to see, but they're like halfway through painting the colour and it looks so good. Okay, so I thought we'd just quickly show what we got. Yes. So, our plan was to put these net lights in the windows. Instead of putting things on the outside this year, we thought we'd stick to inside. So we got these massive windows on this house. So I thought we'd do net all down there, and then we're gonna do what? Net in my so dressing net room. Here, net in the dressing room, which is right above. Net in the other corner of the house. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put these strings then above the garage. So it should look quite equal. When it's dark, we're hopefully gonna do these now. And yeah. when it darkens a bit, I'll give you an overview of the house, hopefully once all the lights are set up. And then I popped into... Oh my God, <laughs> you've just gone mad. I you? did a bit of a Christmas food shop. Um, this, is, this is literally, if I told Karis, if I was really ill one year, I was like, Karis, you go out and do the food shop for this Christmas time, it's the 23rd of December. This is literally what you would buy. <laughs> you don't need a turkey, you don't need any veg, you don't, don't need stuffing, you just need... The confectionery aisle. Is that what it's called? I think so. Um, look how empty and bare our bowl is. It's empty, put dog treats in it. It's dog treats in a remote and a pen, and there's more of that than there is chocolate. That's just not appropriate. So I thought I'd stock up. James's favourite, snowballs. Really no, nothing's around along when we're here. Jaffa cakes are honestly one of my faves, and I always forget to get them. And they was, these are like the Christmassy editions. And they've got orange and cranberry Jaffa cakes. I was like, yeah. yep. Sorted me. Quite nice. In a one. Three coins for the bowl. All big. All big coins. We're not faffing about. Then I really wanted to get, this is what I went in for, a gingerbread house. This was, so they were completely sold out in the actual aisle that they were, that this was in. And I went to pick up all this stuff and I found this stray box and I was like, oh my goodness. But as I was drop, drop, like putting it in the car, I was listening to it and I was thinking, hmm. Yes, exactly, James. Very practical of you to think that straight away. I have a feeling someone's dropped this in the shop and it, all the gingerbread is smashed to pieces and I'm not going to be able to make a house out of it. I am that annoying person in the shop that will reach to the back. I literally yeah, hate it when James does this. Yeah, We're opposites. Um, everyone keeps the, you keep the best dates at the back. Everyone knows that the best dates are always at the back. Okay, and you know that no one's touched the ones at the back. Yeah. So you just do a nice, you know, reach around. But everyone reach wants around to the back. Everyone wants the ones at the back. Well, of course, so everyone let's wants the best. Be dates. nice and just all work our way to the back. But then, if the one at the front is tomorrow's date, why well, wouldn't I want the one in a week's time at the back? I'm a, I'm a customer. So when James picks it up, around. all the dates are like really far, and when I pick it up, the dates like already gone off. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and do my gingerbread tonight, but I'm not, I'm not feeling very hopeful that there's actually a gingerbread house that could be made in there. 
<laughs> and we're going to try and put the lights out. I'll do the garage ones first before it gets too dark. Yeah, good idea. Wish me luck. Okie dokie. Good luck. I'm cracking up so much. James has literally been stood in the window for about 20 minutes. I'm not even exaggerating. He does not want to ask me for... <laughs> he does not want to ask me for help because he's trying to be... He's trying to be kind to me because I'm pregnant. He was like, I'll do, I'll do all the outside lights, don't worry. He can't even untangle them, I'm absolutely dead. I'm gonna need to go and help him. <laughs> okay, so we finished putting up the lights that we were able to. We ran out of suction hooks, so we had to stop in our tracks. So we've actually got quite a lot still to put back up, but we put up all the ones that we can with suction hooks. James is just changing the settings on some of them. Yes. So this is what we have in the doorway. We've got our reindeer and sleigh. So we've got our light up reindeer and sleigh from Lights for Fun. You guys know how much we love Lights for Fun. With our little mouse pulling the sleigh of baubles. Then we have, I haven't actually seen what the lights look like yet. Oh, they look so good. Oh my goodness. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see on the vlog, but okay, I'll zoom in, that's much better. James has put his twinkling lights on in there. Well, I've put it a bit random, so they do their own thing, which is good fun. I love it, it looks so good. They are all the same colour, but yeah, <laughs> but they look a bit um, green on the camera, but they are actually like a nice warm light. We went for a really subtle curtain uh, lights thing that I had already from Amazon, which were like copper wires, and they just kind of spiraled down in the lounge window, just because we didn't want it too heavy, because that's obviously where we watch TV and chill, so we didn't want it to be like that at the top. And this will look really good, because we're going to get shutters put on these windows. Yeah. Not this year, but when they come next year. And it looks good with darkened backgrounds. Yeah. Because obviously, I put the blind down now up there, and it looks so much better. Yeah, it does, yeah. It does. So we've got those, we've got our little garland of stars. And then where was the other ones that I put? We got some little stars in this window as well. You can't oh, see them very well, but they're quite cute. They're also oh, from Lights for Fun. You should put the one in this window because it's more visible. Yeah, I should have because of the thing. Um, and I was saying to James, I know it's pitch black, so you can't see at all right now. But we have the biggest like front to our house. We have this grass area here, grass area there, loads of trees, it's loads so of bushes. Cool nativity scene on the garden. Next year, I've, I said this, didn't I? Next year I'm going crazy. We could have here like a massive blow up Santa. Yeah, we're gonna have blow up Santa there. We're gonna have massive reindeers all over the front. We're gonna have them on the little patio bits for there. We don't have the storage to put these. There we do. Oh, lights on these little olive trees. That would look cute actually. I might get some little battery lights to put on the olive trees. I'm getting carried away. Mental. Oh, I love it. Hi, Mila. Look at you behind the curtain lights. Oh, she's got excited. <laughs> Hello, we've only been gone for a minute. We are just going to actually shoot into town for some evening, um, evening <laughs> shopping. Evening <laughs> Christmas tired. shopping uh, for a video that we're going to film soon, uh, which is going to be a good f fun one. Doing like gift. What, what, what are you Mila, looking at? Mila, I was chewing this. Oh my goodness me, what is that? What is that, James? Sorry, I mean, that's your mince pie. <laughs> It's not a mince pie. Isn't it? It's Christmas pudding! Oh, sorry, I knew it was something Christmas. Yes, I knew it was a Christmas pudding. A mince pudding. pie! I just it got could confused. Be a mince pie I got confused fair. for a second there. She was chewing my mince pie! Oh, did you see her chewing it? I saw you. Did you chew my yeah, mince pie? Mince That's pie. not very nice. Oh, it looks this tasty. It's for you, though. So you're calling it a mince pie now? I know, I just said mince pie. <laughs> look, there's the lights from the inside as well. Oh, yes, there's our, our dangly lights. They look really cute, to be fair. They're nice, they're subtle. And Which Christmas lights aren't really meant to be subtle, are they? They're meant yeah. to be quite in your face. Well, yeah, they're classy. Ta-da! It wasn't oh. broken! Look at that! Perfect! Ooh, ooh. Happy as Larry. So yes, we're going to shoot into town. We're actually doing like a £20 gift idea video, which is going to be good fun. So we need to go and uh, have a little look at things for that. Woo! So I'm just in John Lewis. I'm waiting for James. I've done my shop. I spent my £20 in like two seconds. Um, we're doing a £20 budget Christmas video thing, which was so fun to do. I started well in TK Maxx and then I ended up finding like four separate things that I wanted to get. So then I've just ended up buying all four of them and I'm gonna have to just choose my favorite two that add up to 20 pounds i'm literally useless when it comes to these challenges and then i also ended up buying myself a cake tin which i'll show you when we get home but yeah james is just getting me his last present and i'm just waiting in john lewis for him <sighs> i think we're gonna get a curry tonight as well so that's exciting so we've got a curry and we're watching blooming it that's loud <laughs> 
We're watching Santa Claus too. We are. We saw the Santa Claus castle for the first time the other day. Woohoo! We shall see. Good morning. We are chilling this morning, having our cups of tea. James has got the football on. Yeah, I finished. Those. <laughs> or Smarties. That was so smooth. <laughs> I can actually imagine you doing that without even making a joke of it either. <laughs> Just being like, good morning. <laughs> I had some fruit for breakfast with some no fat yogurt. <laughs> yeah, we did eat a tube of Smarties for breakfast, but you know. We finished off a tube of Smarties. It wasn't full. It basically was. Well, well, that's no better that we finished half of it last night and half of it this morning. You're acting as if someone else ate the other half. I don't think anything tastes better than chocolate for breakfast. Chocolate with a cup of tea. I think it's because it reminds me of Christmas, which was obviously the only time we were allowed to eat chocolate for breakfast. Yeah. As a kid. Yeah, and now just we've done it ever since. Yeah, now it's just a morning routine. I know. It's not we... wearing off though, it still tastes great. We don't even have the advent calendar, we just jump straight into the Smarties tube. Yeah. So bad. Yeah, so we're just waking up and then we're going to take Mila on a morning dog walk. Uh, and later I'm going to make my gingerbread house, which I'm so excited about. And James... I'm going to put up the outside lights. Drop chocolate down the side of the sofa. More chocolate. Yeah, What's James it? has promised me he's going to put up I'm those icicle it. lights. I'm going to do it, guys. Which he didn't do yesterday because he got in a huff about it. But no, 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 it got too dark. <laughs> You're going to unravel them. I can them. see. <laughs> smashing this walk we're two minutes away from the car we I'm thought so we'd thank you this is a walk we came on at like the end of her first round she was like i'm never doing that walk again yeah in pregnancy it's too hard but this morning she was like i want to do it let's go do it it's got a lot of hills <sighs> and i was like you know what this might be one of the last times i don't know i'm not going to say that actually no. i'm going to stay positive you just keep doing what you can do and um, what you want to yeah do. i'm going to keep pushing myself yeah. and keep going because i do feel strong active and healthy mm -hmm so far and i know the third trimester will bring its More own weight, weight and mm -hmm. bump yeah. and everything um but we'll keep going for as long as we can but also what's so difficult about the one thing that's tougher i think about winter yeah pregnancy and summer is that these walks are often slippier yeah and muddy so they're not worth the risk but luckily we've had a dry spot so it's not slippy yeah and james is like watch yourself <laughs> watch out I'm grabbing, onto coat, grabbing me <laughs> <laughs> he's looking after me so back from the dog walk showered fresh i did my fake tan james was like you don't you fake tan way too dark i was like i think it's just the white top i'm just gonna blame it on top. that it's kind of showing it through dark isn't it i've literally gotten so lazy with my fake tan same i oh, <laughs> i only fake tan not that you know anyone needs to fake tan at all but i literally just fake tan here where you can see um because it's winter i don't even bother doing my arms sometimes um but definitely don't bother doing my legs or my belly <laughs> So I'm literally, if I stand in the mirror naked after fake tanning, I'm like tanned and then I'm just pale the rest of me. Um, thank you, I've got my unicorn slippers on. So James is now... Go and put the outside lights on. Go on, boo. And also we thought the sucky things keep on falling off on these. They're fine on these ones, yeah. but the ones in the bedroom and stuff. So we're just going to use tape. Yeah. Tape <laughs> And we're gonna use sellotape. tape. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm believing in James now. Look at all those packages. Oh my goodness me, I've got to do a massive organise of all the Christmas packages that have started to arrive um in a bit. But my first chore of the day is to sort the sofa out. So I'm gonna plump it up, give it a wipe down. There's a couple of like Mila's mud marks that just need wiping off. And then I've got my lint rollers. I ordered loads of lint rollers. Um, for this sofa because obviously you can't see it from afar but Mila's hairs and little bits of fluff because I'm always wearing like fluffy jumpers and stuff and all the fluff gets everywhere um, so I ordered <laughs> loads of lint rollers so I'm going to give it a lint roller wipe down plump it up it's going to be like a whole new sofa I just love I feel like I'm like so sofa proud I love it so much this sofa, I know we said that we'd sort of been wanting to order this exact sofa for like two years since before we were in our old house. And I've been waiting so long and I love it so much. I feel like I just talk about it way too much and I clean it way too much as well, but I just love it. Ta-da! I have cleaned, I have lint rollered, I have stopped everyone from going on. My beautiful white sofa, which James is regretting buying because oh, I'm like, goodness. get off! I was faffing over the sofa. I was just <laughs> sitting on it and she went, James, 
I'm <laughs> showing the sofa now. She's got a bloody lint roller out again. She started. I don't know. I'm chuffed that you're looking after this. Like, we can't be doing that every two minutes. I love it though. <laughs> anyway, so now we can actually sit down on the sofa. I'll let you sit down. So James is sorting out um, a food delivery that we have coming because we're doing a oh let me sit up we're doing a mukbang like q a thing at any second now when the food arrives so he's just tracking his order he's having a bit of a technical difficulty tracking it well, so we i paid thought for the order but it's not coming up but the payment's gone that's, that's so amazing. weird we order delivery like every day and that never happens no we've never had that trouble before i thought i would show you the cake thing that I got from John Lewis yesterday when I was meant to just be getting James's £20 gift. I wanted this for ages but it was sold out online um, and then I saw it in store yesterday and I was like I gotta get it for when I bake my cakes. When the kitchen's done I've literally baked like two cakes in my whole life but I'm very excited I've got an apron for myself and now I've got a little cake holder um, and I also thought it would be good just for like Stop. Um, um, when I make brownies or things like that, which again, I never do, so I don't know why I'm acting like I'm a baker. And when I decorate my gingerbread house, I'm not gonna eat it all at once, I probably will. But if I don't, it's basically just somewhere cute to store stuff so it, <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't go stale. Um, so that's that. I'm very excited to put in the new kitchen and make look aesthetic. The other thing I have to show you, which I haven't unboxed yet, was from Hayley and Harlow. I always say things wrong, so make sure I say that right. Which are a really small business which do modern Muslims and baby accessories. They are so cute, honestly. This stuff is so sweet. Somebody sent me a little screenshot of their like Instagram page and was like, oh, if you want to support a small business and blah, blah, blah. So I ordered this a couple of weeks ago and I've been wanting to unbox it, but I was like, I'll wait to show you guys what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got, oh, look how cute this is. I love the idea of this because it's got like a little toy on it for them, but then it's also practical. I feel like I need to, I'm so sort of unprepared for mum life that like, I don't even know what these are used for. So I'm like, oh, these are so cute. And then I'm like, what are these actually used for? Are they used for like the burping oh, sicky yeah, stuff? I don't or? Know if you don't know there. Do you know what this is used for? No. <laughs> I think it's just something to have your shoulder, isn't it? Yeah, that they burp on. Yeah, probably. I think. Thank you for your order. No problem. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is the first little dummy I've got. Look how cute that is. It's a very aesthetic dummy. Oh, I don't want to drop it. That would really defeat me. Are we doing people. dummies? Oh, yeah. We're doing anything that makes the baby <laughs> be happy. Um, and it's from a brand called Bibs. So I think it was like a brand that do these type of dummies that was on her little website. So I love that. And I feel like it'll go with loads of my little neutral outfits. So that's cute. And I've got a little bag to store it in as well, which says Hayley and Harlow, which is so cute. And then I got some little wooden things so hello world and you put the name date weight and length of the baby so we can fill that in for baby girl when she's here and then you can keep that so we want to have like a baby box thing where we can put all i don't know like scan pictures and all of the stuff that reminds hello mila you're not coming up there's on my baby girl she's here uh huh baby oh yeah here. here's baby girl she's on the floor hello i know you want to sniff all the new baby things so that goes back in the bag and I'm going to put the dummy back in there before Mila gets her hands on it. And then this as well. I can't remember what this was called now. I think it was a teether. I think it was for teething and it said something about that wood was good for teething. But it's like a little elephant teether or something. It was made with like natural wood that was good for that sort of stuff. So I thought, you know, I'll try it out. And then I believe these are the muslins. Again, I don't know what these are used for but they just look so cute i will obviously find out soon and they have a large one or is this a blanket i can't remember but look how cute that pattern is so cute so aesthetic i think they only see in black and white for a little while is that me being stupid or do they actually yeah, see white. yeah because you're meant to get like black and white like mobile things that um interact oh, i can't remember what i'm trying to say just ignore me <laughs> Literally me trying to act like I know about becoming a mum in like four months. Um, but actually I still have a lot of YouTube videos to watch. Uh, I love this pattern as well. Little zebras. Like all together, they just look so cute and so aesthetic. This one, little, oh, I dropped one. Little blue stars, like gray, sorry, gold stars, I mean. I 
feel like the, the ring light is just like too bright. There we go, I think you can see them a bit better. The lighting is just extremely, extremely bright. But yeah, I got four patterns. I love them all. Very aesthetic. The whole brand was just very aesthetic, really. Like when you hold it all together, you just feel like you've got your mum life together. Like look, you've got your little bag and your dummy. It's just, it's great. I love it. Oh, that's like my first proper kind of baby practical, potentially practical stuff order. Because we've bought a couple of clothes and stuff, but I hadn't bought anything like a muslin or a dummy or anything like that. So that was exciting. <sighs> and now we just wait for the five guys. Is it on its way? It's been an issue. I'm not sure what's happening here. But Five Guys didn't accept our order, so I put it back through, and if they don't accept, we'll order something else. Yes, because we have a time restraint. We do. With sunlight. I just showed James all the That's cute so baby cute. stuff. Very cute, aren't they? Yeah. Let me stuff it. I'm still trying um, to look at what that bunny thing's for, but I... it does look cute. See, because I reckon, because it's got a bit of a weight, yeah. it's perfect for that. And then the baby looks at that. Otherwise, if you have had, to, if you saw a cloth, then you have to go like really quite far back. But I think because of the weight, you can kind of... I tell you so much yeah. for the baby to look at. I think it's just cute and weighted. Maybe. We shall figure all this out. There we go. I'm done. Okay, the giveaway. We forgot. Yes. Well, we didn't really forget, but we thought... We kept on saying, oh, we'll film that in the next clip, or we'll do that in the next clip, and then we completely forgot completely every single forgot. time. And it was meant to run in so smoothly, because, you know, I've been trying to pair my giveaways to my videos, and yes. I knew we were meeting Becky from Gymshark, and I was like, this would be a perfect time to do... The Gymshark giveaway. <laughs> um, so today's giveaway is a £100 Gymshark voucher. Yes. All you need to do to enter is be subscribed to our channel and yes. comment below and make sure within your comment you include either your Instagram handle or an email address so we can contact you yes. um, around 24 hours after this video goes up. Indeed. Contact the winner. And thank you so much to everyone who has um, entered, entered all the previous giveaways. We have chosen when we choose winner after 24 hours. And yeah. um, we love doing the giveaways, but the only issue with it is that we do then struggle to get through all of your comments. We do. But we do read the majority. Majority, of the I know. And so thank you so much for all your love. Because it's really of... nice because you guys still leave nice comments, nice comments yeah. and then you just have your handle or your email yeah. address at the bottom so we're still trying to read like all of them and it's just so nice so thank you for all your support on the giveaway yeah. and on all our videos since december has and started you're having a very jolly december so far holly jolly december okay i don't one. well you know everything just looks booby now because my boobs have just grown so massive <laughs> that i'm just booby, like yeah every dance moves booby now <laughs> they're just jiggling around the whole time anyway so we're gonna end this video yes, here waiting with... for our food for our mac but I am bloody starving. We ended up ordering from two places, so we, we have did. no idea now if two things are going to come and no, which one's going to have no like idea. pizza and five guys, who knows. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. Yes, thank you so much. Please give the video a like and enter the giveaway in the comments below. Love see you guys. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>